Hello everyone, I hope and pray you are having a great week. Today I want to start my devotion by reading a passage from the book of Habakkuk. And the Lord answered me, Write the vision, make it plain on tablets, so he may run who reads it. For still the vision awaits its appointed time, it hastens to the end. It will not lie. If it seems slow, wait for it. It will surely come, it will not delay. Behold, his soul is puffed up, it is not upright within him. But the righteous shall live by his faith. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2 to 4. Habakkuk was a prophet who spoke the word of God during very chaotic time in kingdom of Judah. So the nation was very sinful. It was full of violence and injustice. So God judged them after many warnings that he gave through many prophets. So he judged Israel uh, by raising another nation called Babylon. And this is what Habakkuk could not understand and accept because he believed Babylonians were way worse than the Israel. But now God's chosen people are conquered and humiliated by the Babylonians. So Habakkuk complained to God. According to the passage that I shared with you, God answers Habakkuk's questions, resulting in continuing faith in God's wisdom, sovereignty, and salvation. God's timing may seem really slow to some people, but what he says is wait for it, because it will surely come, and it is not going to delay. And my favorite part is the last verse. Behold, his soul is puffed up, it is not upright within him, but the righteous shall live by his faith. The one whose soul is not right within him. This refers to Babylonians, because uh, they refuse to know the Lord. But the righteous who choose to worship the Lord, who choose to trust Him, they are going to see God working in wonders. And this also refers to us since we have been made righteous by faith in Christ because He has exchanged His perfect righteousness for our sins and He has enabled us to live by faith. In the same way like Habakkuk, we cannot understand many things at this point, but I believe that God will bring physical healing and restoration for the nations and redemptions for many souls in this world. I hope and pray may we live by faith and choose to trust God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the message of the hope and help us to remember this and also help us to be encouraging and supporting each other as brothers and sisters through prayers. Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray.